Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I am your host, Olive XC, a top grandmaster over with over 1,000 hours of experience in this game. Today, we are playing on the Turkey map. Progressive, Alliance is on, Fog off, Blizzard's off. The players include an AI bot, Raw Dog. Ugh, gotta keep this channel a little bit friendly. <laughs> Lonely Sumida. Myself in the fourth position. General Yamada. And Brianna the Spider. So looking uh, at this board here, in my position, I think it's going to be important for me to maintain a position on the right hand side with this two, on the left hand side uh, with this two, and then maybe group some of my stuff here in the middle and have a three position situation. When I look at what the white player is doing, I can see that they are being very aggressive, attacking multiple times uh, per turn, and in general, not being like a very smart. The other thing that I need to be keeping in mind here is I see Pink's forces are very well concentrated in the upper left hand side. I think there can be a very likely chance that they will decide to go for this continent and any troops I leave here will be lost. Given this information, I think it's just going to be important for me to uh, leave like uh, some troops uh, here, leave some troops here. I'm going to take one card, and then finally, I will group my troops together. It may be a little hard for me being three positions, but I'm going to go all in and protecting this right hand side, given that this is one of the most diversified parts of the map for me. I'm going to have to try to stay away from the white player as much as possible. I expect on the next turn that they are going to go uh, for the continent. Just so people can see the continents on the board here, we have Marmara, a plus five, an Aegean, a plus six, Mediterranean Coast, a plus six, Central Anatolia, a plus nine, Black Sea Coast, a plus nine, Eastern Anatolia, a plus nine, Southeastern Anatolia, a plus five. These are huge continents right here. Absolutely massive continents. It's going to be extremely hard to hold them. So for that reason, this map is considered a very advanced map, and players are better off trying to spread out as much as they can around the, the board. What the white player was doing on their first turn was very bad, and as I expected, the pink player is going for a continent. And I expect them now to hit my stack. Okay, they hit the two, and now they're going to hit my two. And they lost three. Look at that. They got six troops, and they're down to 19 right now. It was very bad what they did. I'm just really glad that I recognize this. I took steps to stay spread out, and hopefully I'll be able to protect my positions. That's not protecting my positions. <laughs> it looks like this blue bot may be a rampage bot where they put everything in one stack and try to attack as much as possible. I'm going to have to be wary of that and I need to try to protect my stacks as much as I can. In addition, looking at the players here, I think the purple player is the best one. They attacked very quickly. They're not hiding their overall speed. They are trying to stay spread out. And it looks like they have a strategy for what they want to do in order to win. I'm going to have to be cautious with the purple player. I'm going to do one of my standard techniques of trying to make an alliance with the white player to let them know that I want to work with them and I don't want to break them uh, like, at all. If they want to get super strong, like, I can care less about that. I just don't want them hitting my position here. So given that, I think I'm going to want to put uh, some troops up above 
here and then and then try to just leave them like alone and then uh i am going to put my remaining troops here and just try to group everything off here in the corner by doing this i will have a two position game and i will be safe and ready to attack around the map so we can see right here, the green bot is just making mindless attacks at this time. I will expect the pink player on their turn will be taking the continent. Let's see what they do. And as expected, we do see that the pink player is going to be going for the continent here, which is bad. They're also being a very slow attacker, and this shows that... I expect them to be very weak. And if we got to an endgame scenario, if I just attacked very rapidly around the map, I would get a significant advantage over them. My main concern uh, right now is the purple player. Now looking at this bot here, don't hit my seven, good. Okay, it's going to the right. That is welcome news. And as I expected, this bot is a stacker bot. And the three is in the line of fire. Oh, that is unfortunate. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So what can I do here? I'm going to lose this three, most likely. And this is because it's more important to protect this seven. I need to get away from the pink player because I don't want them to think that they have to hit me right now. So the white players finish placing down their troops right here. They're making one simple attack. Okay, multiple simple attacks. Okay, that that they're just going for a new continent. What what do I know about anything in this world? <laughs> um so at this time, I think the best thing that I can do is I need to move away. Yeah, I think this position's going to be lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place extra troops on my one uh, right here. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose this right here. And I'm going to attack upwards knowing that I'm going to lose it. So I got the most value that I can from the position. And I'm going to have to hope that staying in three positions right here will be enough to protect myself. But oh gosh, the bot can hit my four there. Ah! Ah! That's unfortunate, and I could I could have saved a couple of troops. The bot could have also hit the purple four instead. Now I'm at the weakest number of troops on the board. I'm going to be at 14. Ah, this is so, so unfortunate. If I can time out my kills, I should be able to get the kill when it's worth it for another player. It can be the blue bot. It could potentially be the green bot as well. I just need to be keeping my options open right now. But this is not going off to a strong start for me right now because of how aggressively people have been choosing to go uh, for these continents, as well as the bots deciding to go in and hit me, which has drastically been lowering my overall troop count. I could have been at like 19 uh, or so. I expect this bot to go down and then here. Oh, it went up. And it just slams the green bot. Wow, the green bot has just been annihilated. The green bot is now at 11 troops. One thing I would always like to think about is is it worth it for me to try to defeat the green bot for its cards i would say the answer is no here because each card the train value is only four and the green player has 11 troops it's better for me to wait like at this time with the trade value at six each card's worth two so i'm going to wait and hold and try to get a uh, a better position for myself so now we're just going to wait for the white player to place their troops down and we're going to see what they do here 
Are you going to hit the purple five and get a second continent? I would love it if they decided to do that. Hmm, okay. They're being very, very greedy right now. Very, very greedy. I'm going to have to hope that the pink player decides to hit them. Otherwise, this incredible greed will probably just be giving them the game. Which would be crazy if that is the case. But I just have to keep uh, doing what I can uh, at this time. I'm going to get one more card. And just move everything to one position here. I have no set on four cards here. Which means that as players start trading in their sets, someone may try to take me out at five cards. Which is scary. So is there something else that I can do? Should I go for a kill on the green bot with their very strong 14 troops? Well, it's, re it's really about 15 right now. And this is because I would have to go through here. I would need the odds are probably around 50%. If I failed, if I don't go for the kill though, is there any type of opportunity where I could potentially win the game? What else could I uh, potentially do? Yeah, the blue bots can significantly weaken the green player. Alright, that actually changes the calculation a little bit. Because now I just have to win a, uh, a, 7v, a 6v3 here and a 9v6. A 6v3 is about 90%. A, uh, a 10v6 is like a 90%. Or sorry, it would be a 9v6. It would be a 9v6 right here. I think I will have to go for the kill. On the green player. It is my only chance at this time. The white player, if they want to, could try to eliminate me uh, as well. Oh, this is interesting. The white player is now destroying the purple player at this time. Okay, okay. We now have an opportunity. We need to kill the green player. Then, we need to chain and kill the purple player. Then we need to hit the white player as hard as possible and break their continents. As they are about to win the game. It's just a shame I don't have a set right now. If I had a set, I would have gone for the kill. And I would have been fine. So is it better to go for a 9v6 or, an, or like a 10v6? So I think both of these are about 90%. I think it's better to go the, put the extra one here. Let's hope this works, you guys. First one's good. And that's the second one. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We now get a double trade in. Okay, we're going to come back from this. We will make the comeback. Or my name isn't Comeback Olive. <laughs> okay, so we can put... This here, we can make this a four, and then put the rest here. Twelve, eleven. No, we need we need to go down here and then go up this way. All right, let's do it. Yes, we got the purple player down. All right, now we need to chain in, potentially kill the. Pink? No, I don't think we can kill the pink player. I don't think we can kill anyone else, actually. Then what I have to do is go to war against the white player. Yeah, I have to. They're, they're going to win. They're just getting too many troops. I will have the set here at this time. They're going to hit me. I don't think that they can kill me, though. I have 18 territories. This would be a very challenging kill, as they're very spread out. I will then get the 20 set, 
and then I will be able to attack very rapidly uh, around the map. I'll have to decide how I want to attack. What is the best thing that I could potentially do here? The pink player is bad. They're just trying to hold their own continent at this time. This is now a 1v1 between the white player and me. The white player has a couple more troops, but I'm going to get the bigger set. They also just are not really attacking that fast. The, per the blue bot though is going to attack my territory. I don't care about the territory or about my numbers going down because my main sacks are fine. My main concern is the white player will be able to get a kill on me because they're going to have to take out so much less territory. Oh gosh. So can the white player kill me right now is the question. If the white player can kill me, they will take the game. I did the most that I could with the situation that I was given. It's all going to come down to this, you guys. Can the white player do it? They are thinking hard right now about how they want to get the kill. They're putting some troops down there. They're putting a few more right there. Yeah, they're just trying to take their continents back. They will not be able to kill me. Yes. Guys, we still have a chance to take this game. I am not giving this up yet. This is a 1v1, but I am one of the best 1v1 players in the world. While this white player has an advantage over me, if I hit them really hard and break all of their continents, I could take the game. The other option is, do I want to try to kill the blue player right now? Can I kill the blue player? So I would I have 18 troops to deploy, 28 to kill, 26 along with some splits. No, I can't kill can I kill the pink player. I could put something like five here, the rest here, but I have to get some really good rolls. I think we have to go for the pink player, you guys. Good luck, me! Let's go! We got the pink player! We did it! Yes! 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 Alright, I'm now getting a huge trade in, and I'm going to put everything I have into the white player. Oh, I gave them a continent. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think they can attack me enough anyway. And I should be fine to hit them very hard with five cards. I have 29 territories. They will not be able to kill me. This blue bot is a butt, though, you guys. It's an absolute butt right now. <laughs> it's only hitting me. Only me. If the white player... Okay, now it's hitting the white player. Also, I have this nice little stack in the corner. Uh, this is called Prayer Corner. Thoughts for your prayers, everyone. So the white player would have to have a set right now, path me, and be able to kill me. This would be very, very challenging. On my turn, I'm going to hit them as hard as possible. I don't think I'll be able to kill them, but I will be able to significantly weaken them. This bot is only going to be hitting me, though. All right, concentrate. Like we gave the the, the green play, oh, sorry, the white player a couple more extra troops, but it's clear that their camera animations are on. I think we got this game. I think we have the game right here. This is such a nice comeback right here and shows you the importance of chaining your kills for the right opportunity. All right, so now I'm going to put everything here. So it's 60 to 37. So what uh, I can do is put everything here. And then I'm going to try to kill the white player. I'm going to use the slider blitz here to try to keep it a little bit closer. And I'm going to try to path this out. Let's see if I can do this. 
I'm going to kill the white player, you guys. Let's see if I can do this. So close. And we got the white player! Let's go! So now all we have to do is hit the blue bot as much as we can and wrap this game up. I hope you all enjoyed this game very much, everyone. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. It's helping out the channel so much. I'm putting out a lot of content for you guys because I know you are all enjoying it right now. And I couldn't be any happier doing it. And with that, I'll just uh, cut ahead to me uh, taking out the uh, blue player and showing the end screen. Also, for no apparent reason, I'm going to kill them with 69 troops here. Eh, eh, eh. But that is the game, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let's just take a quick look at the players uh, right here. And we can see we had an expert, two beginners, and a novice. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. This is Olive XC, signing out.